Salute trade game team. The mic was muted the first time I did that. I just woke up a little while ago. Just came from the bathroom, you know, getting dressed. Getting fresh, getting ready. I got a meeting a little later today, so I want to get up a little early. So I figured I'd make this video to show you guys actually how I start my trading mornings off. For those of you guys that's following uh, the process, here we go, man. So pretty much, as you know, this is the pip generator. This is the uh, this is one account. This is like a mid-size account, but I had it running overnight, and um, I'm just gonna get up and check on it. So we got a NZD. Uh, we got an NCD JPY trade that just started. We need to go back and check it out. Let's pull the chart back a little. Uh, okay, so this one just started. I'm checking to see if it looks good. It looks like. It look like it's good. It look like it's gonna work. Um, I see where it crossed. I see it's under the cloud. I see over the last two days we're in a downtrend. So this looks like a good trade. I'm gonna hold. Uh, now we got the NCD Chef, which is negative ten pips. We gotta check this one out. Okay, so this one. This is a buy. This is this one is looking okay. So this one looks like it is technically about to buy, but it's not currently in a buy. If you look at the trend, right, the trend is heading down on this one. I mean, you can even see where the robot pointed out a trend line. My system is telling me that um, it took a trade down, which it won clearly. Then it took another one, and it saw the buy and it reversed. That's what this is. That's what this means. So what I'm looking at right now is. The rejection at the uh, bottom of these candles and saying that okay there is some buy momentum here so in a situation like this we probably want to go look at the four hour and you see the difference when you look at the four hour so when you look at the four hour now there's a different story here it's already above the cloud and there was a lot of uh, indecision on the price so that means this trade could go either way. So what we got to do in a trade like this is we got to move that stop loss so that if this trade decides to turn against us, we get out. We get out before we waste too much time on it, okay? So that's probably not going to be a trade that uh could work in our favor. But if you look at the one hour, it's not as uh, indecisive. And the one hour is kind of actually, if you look, if you look at this on a one hour, right? You see what I see? You see what I'm saying? You kind of can see. Don't do that. You kind of can see where. Uh, kind of can see it. You kind of can see it. Kind of can see it. Now it looks a little better there. Okay? You kind of can see that. That is starting to form a little uptrend there. So it's looking like the buy is going to occur at some point, but right now it's not quite there yet. So I'm going to let that run. I'm going to let that run. So we got that one. It was negative 10. That was negative 9. It's trying to go down, but like I said, there is a lot of um, buyer power going into that trade right there. So I'm going to let that one run. Uh, NZD CAD. Let's check that out. NZD CAD. NZD CAD. This broker is not... Well, I'm not too fond of this broker, by the way. Uh, something about it. I'm just not too fond of it. Um, okay, so this is another one. This is another buy. Okay, so same situation as the last NZD. Uh, Chef, same situation. Um, that's a lot of rejection on that buy, though. That's a lot. You see that candle, how it just moved? So it looks like this might be... Okay, so let's put the stop loss under this candle right here, okay? actually the right place would be right here so let's put it there let's see what we risking uh, let me look at the price of what I'm risking here so I know okay so that's fifty dollars let's look at the price on that stop loss so we risked 120 dollars okay that's okay so once again we need to just look at a quick four hour let's see what we see on the four hour it's not looking good either this is not looking good at all but notice where i put my stop loss you see how you can see a level now when you look right there you see that 
So let's move it a little bit more down and let it play out because this could be a reversal. But we are counter trend trading, so you should expect to lose this trade, okay? As you see, over the past couple of days, what have we been seeing? This thing just been dropping. So we should be expecting to lose that trade. If you win it, good. You caught the reversal. If you see this right here, it's still heading up. All right, so let's move on. Let's move on to some other stuff. Let's move on to the CAD JPY trade. Uh, CAD JPY. Let's move on to you. Okay, so this one ain't looking too bad. This one ain't looking too bad. Let me um check the price to see what we're risking. See what we're risking. Okay, this one ain't looking too bad. Okay, so let's put the stop loss behind there. Let's put the take profit down here, right around before that level. Okay, so this one ain't looking too bad. It looks like it's ready to go down. Um, I see the cross happened here. I see the momentum started to shift. This is testing this area. We got to see if it goes through. Right now, let's just secure some profit just in case. Why not? And, um, yeah, that's pretty much that. So let's look at the GJ. The GJ, of course, my favorite, of course, of all time. I'm always getting some good stuff on GJ, so let's go ahead and secure this trade. Uh, GJ pretty much is just they're going down, period. Ain't really much to say here. As you see it going down, it's getting a rejection, but it's going down. So either way, either way, it's not really to talk about there. Let's look at the Euro GJ because that's another one that's doing some big moves. That's a 100 pip trade right there. So you know I got to showcase my 100 pip trades, right? Okay, so, okay, so it was at 100. It's that 99. It's playing with me. It's okay. Either way, you in the back. All right, you're in the back. So same thing, GJ. The yens are going down. There's a lot of momentum coming into the market right now, so things are starting to switch around. Somebody is uh, not liking this, man. Euro USD. Euro USD, 150 pips. Let's see what the uh, profit is on this. Okay, okay, looking good. So let's secure some of this bread, you know what I'm saying? All right. Now the reason I only moved the stop loss to halfway is because um, the price could easily uh, reverse. So we don't want that. So right now I'm trading on the candy bot. This is all candy bot entries, just to let you guys know that. The candy bot is on the site. I feel like I did enough, so I don't feel like promoting nothing. I'm just letting y'all know what I'm using to trade this. This is what I woke up to. Okay, so let's let's uh let's move over to uh my main account and let's see what's happening over there. Okay, let's move over to the main account. Uh, all right. So once again, wake up. Um, I wake up, I have to check the uh, account, okay, let me um do something right here, cover the name of this, because I don't want no issues with nobody, because the name is not final, the only reason I'm doing this guys is because the name is not finalized, and there's a person's name in there that I do not have the permission to show. So I don't want to um, get in any trouble by showing the person's name and I didn't have permission for it. So that's the only reason when y'all see me doing that, I'm doing that. Because I know y'all probably like, well, well that's kind of shady. So I'm just letting you guys know what's happening. Okay, I'm trying to be transparent. Okay, so I woke up to 14,000 pips. And believe it or not, this is kind of a normal thing now for me because I've been using this system for two years. So don't think that um, this is like, like, I know people probably don't understand when they see this, but... I've been doing this for two years on this one system. I've been studying it for over two years now. So when you see me trading on it, just know that that's the reason it's like I'm used to it now. So let's check the bad trade that I'm looking at. It's not necessarily bad, but it stacked up some bad entries in my opinion. Um, it did some sales on gold and uh, 
to me it looks valid actually it looks like these are valid cells um price consolidated but slowly started creeping down so i'm gonna let those play out a little bit i'm not gonna rule those out as bad trades just yet uh same thing on silver there's a silver trade uh there's a sell and um yeah the silver is in some kind of profit here so let's just go ahead and um secure some of this the silver is acting a little bit like gold so you see the move a little bit clearer on silver than you do on gold but the direction is the same so let's go over to usd i've been in this usd on the day chart for quite a while now um so let's go check it out where is it where's my usd my nash should be over there with you i don't know why y'all are separate but uh yeah i've been in this trade for a long time um this is just another entry on the trade no this one is a new entry i mean the other trade got clipped see i wake up and don't even be knowing okay so clearly the robot ended on me here so let's secure this now this account is a shared account this is the big account this is kind of the yolo account where we don't care me and the person that um funded the account they don't care we just we, they already got their money back that they put into this account so right now we just kind of yolo with this account and just see how far we can take it if we blow it if we make more money so we just use this account to just see how far we could push the system um and as you can see it is working because i've been i had this account for a while now and it's still here now nas mm, mm, mm. I shouldn't even I should take this off camera wow okay so Nas went crazy man wow how about that guys and we've been in this trade since let me see yeah this trade started Sunday night and we've been in it ever since wow so you see in a bunch of stacked up trades the system takes multiple trades and um if you tell it to so we tell it to take every signal it sees and that's why you see it took three trades on nas for a dollar lot or should i say a one lot standard lot okay that's actually not a dollar y'all know what it really is but yeah this is the robot so i'm kind of used to waking up and just doing this this is kind of normal now so i'm just showing you guys what it's like waking up as a as a day trader you know who uses software um yeah, some people break their hump for this. And I just had to study for two years and I don't have to break my hump. So that's the difference. I'll tell you what though. And I know I'm about to talk about jobs while I do this. This beat's going to a fucking shitty job, man. I'll tell you that. And look, dealing with those those shitty individuals that I had to deal with, man. I I'm so glad I could do this and not have to worry about that. Alright, so got it. So we secured that. Uh what else we have? NAS, US thirty, I think I dealt with all of that. And the reason NAS took multiple trades too is because I just realized I have multiple charts open. Yeah, I got multiple charts open. I gotta fix that. Um Yeah, so let's go down to the next one. We got a forty seven pip trade on Chef. Uh another not the robot once again ended this trade and um We have, we have a possible change. We have a bearish momentum. We have a bearish breakout to the downside on pound pound one hour to the hour downside chart. on pound yen four hour chart. So that's just said the pound yen is going down. Let's check. And it is. Okay, so let me turn on. Let me start turning on my robots. Uh, let me start turning these things on. Let me go over to the FTMO and turn on my robot. And there we go. That's the confluence. Let me go over to my other main account and turn on my robot. Let's get some of this money. Because the pound yen, the pound yen going crazy. So we going in with it. Let's just see what we get, guys. So yeah, back to this. So um I don't have a pound yen trade here, which is kind of ironic because that's the pit that I trade the most. But that's okay. You can't win them all. Um I think uh GBB Chef is the next one that we need to check. Let's see what's going on here. Looking good. I just did that, right? Yeah, I did just do that. And 
uh, Ethereum, which I've been in this for so long now. Yeah, I've been in this Ethereum trade for a while. You see, the first trade was Sunday. I took three trades on Sunday. As you can see, this is a new trade today. Let's secure that. So I've been in this Ethereum cell since Sunday, guys. Uh, the robot entered uh, one, I entered another. And um, yeah, the robot did this, so. Uh, yeah, man, I mean, I know I'm a little out of it. I need some coffee, guys, but I just figured I'd wake up and show you guys what was going on. Um, the other trade we got is a Chef JPY. Let's go look for that on the chart. Let's go look for that on the chart. Chef JPY, uh, looking, looking good. I already secured this. It hit my TP in front of y'all. Nice. That was nice. Volatility just came out new of nowhere. New low on your new low on Kiwi Yen. That is a new indicator that lets you know when a new high or low of the day occurs, it talks. I'm going to make a video on that to show you guys. And let me check the phone because there's a lot of messages coming through my phone. And I need to know why. So let me check. Okay, I see that. That's definitely one I got to reply to. We'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, yeah, so uh, that one closed in front of us. So the next one is Audi Nats. Uh, Audi, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? You should be somewhere in the middle here in a weird place, right? There we go. Woo, look at this bad boy. This is this is, this is is crazy that you could learn a system and this is how it works. I should, You know what's funny? I used to think this wasn't possible because when I was using robots and I first started out, I thought this was not possible. You know, I really thought this was not possible. All right. I used to think this was impossible and now it's like I'm here. I'm just up in this joint. That's crazy. I remember when I started out, I kept giving up on um, trading with robots and I kept going back to my price action. And I was winning with price action, don't get me wrong, but I was like only taking one or two trades a day and I felt like I was missing more. And then as I started learning the system, I started to see how I was missing out and like how I wasn't um, getting as much as I could out of my trades. So I said, I'm gonna stick to the system and just stay with it. And then one day I just understood it so clearly and then I just traded it, man. And then when I traded it, um. I just kept doing it over and over, repeating it. So now after two years, I can tell you guys that this is the results. Like you see this trade right here. You see, um, this is literally, I slept and woke up to this. And people people think I'm like saying I have to be funny, but this is the truth. I'm showing you in front of you. I'm showing you that this is what I, I woke up to 14,000 pips. I mean, you see a couple of negatives there, but look at, look at those. Those are, just, those are trades that's actually waiting to go on profit. So, I just figured I'd do a quick video uh, showing you guys the day in the life of a day trader who's using software. Uh, I know a lot of people don't, they like kind of talk down on this on YouTube, but I just want you guys to understand it's just because they don't know better. Um, I didn't know better either. So, when you don't know better, you don't do better. So, with that being said, man, I just figured I'd give you a quick wake up trade you know this is just gonna be me showing you what my morning is like i'm not brushing my teeth in the uh, mirror and uh just to let you guys know this is that's not a shot at nobody either because right i want to take a second to address that right after i said that i saw two uh brothers young brothers on um youtube who were brushing their teeth in the mirror and i actually think those guys are uh, dope traders um, I don't have anything against them, so I don't want people to think that I'm taking shots at, the, at these dudes, especially younger brothers that's doing anything. I actually like to see that, so I don't want no one to think that this is me trying to sneak this anyone in particular. This is just me saying, that's my way of saying I'm focusing on the charts and trading and not anything else. Like, I don't want to focus on um, material things, even though that helps with marketing. And uh, I kind of feel like I even forced the marketing down y'all throat. I did everything I could to help you guys. So going forward, we're going to just get back to the charts. I don't want to talk about no more services and no more systems to sell. I just want to talk about this trading and get back to these charts. A few of y'all are messing with me, and that's enough. You know what I mean? I have to keep trying to market. I feel like I'm turning into a marketer. It's like every video I'm talking about selling something, and that was not what I came here for. 
So I, so I was like, let me get up and do a chart video and talk about these charts because that's what matters, man. But just so you guys can see, if you look at the chart in front of me, it's very clear how to trade if you just take a second and step back and look at this. You know, if you take this, take everything off this chart, you can still look at this price and tell what to do if you just stick to it for a while. Anyway, man, it's your boy Jimmy. I'm out of here, man. 14,000 pips in the bag, man. Explosive trading day. And it didn't even start yet. <laughs> now, let me be humble. Stop joking around. But, um, yeah, guys, I think, I, I think it's time to go get some coffee. What do you guys think? Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace.